Kinzemeyer, I know what you're thinking. Why are they at an NHRA event in Dallas? Aren't these guys just about burning tires and just draining out fuel? Well, we thought the same thing. So we've come here and talked to some people and see if we can find some technologies a little more our speed. All right, so I'm here with Matt Hagen, the quickest and the fastest guy in the funny car world. Thanks so much for being with us, Matt. Hey, thanks for having me on the show. So you got up to 322 miles yeah, an right. hour? You guys must have been thrilled. Oh, we were on cloud nine, you know? It seems like in the in the racing world, technologies are changing all the time. Well, it changes every day. The whole valve train stuff. Uh, these guys are doing, uh, making huge moves to make these cars more efficient. Uh, you know, and even though you're dealing with that much horsepower, every bit counts. The more we can make these cars efficient, though, the better they're going to run and the closer they're going to run. I mean, we've had a couple of races that we won this year and a couple of races we've lost by, you know, hundred thousandths of a second. Do you think you'd be really excited about the uh, potential for electric motors being used? I would be more excited about it because I like what I'm doing now. And yeah. I, I've got too many years uh, just beating on these things and trying to make them better. Absolutely. But, I mean, if that's what we had to do, we'd manage it and go figure out how to do that. I mean, there's a lot of electric technology going into really high torque cars. I mean, we've seen electric dragsters. Our sponsor, Die Hard, has put batteries in these cars. They're, yeah. they're, they're drag racing these electric cars yeah. out here. And, uh, and it's just it's like, a, yeah, right? There's, it, no, rah, rah, nah, of that. there's no shaking the ground or thumping the earth. It's just an awesome thing to crawl into a piece of machinery that you know is going to go over 300 miles an hour in under four seconds and throw the gloves off and say, you know, here's what I got. Here what we you go. Got. We're here with Antron Brown, easily the fan favorite here. Antron, thanks so much for being with us. Oh, anytime. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. How many years have you been in this then? Well, this is actually my 14th year as a professional. Okay. My fourth year racing Top Fuel. Now, Top Fuel uses nitromethane, and oh, you yeah. were just pouring some of that in. Because nitromethane, it makes tremendous power. That's how we get 8,000 horsepower, 14,000 <laughs> foot pounds of torque. 14,000 foot pounds of torque. Oh, yeah. It's like I didn't know it was that much. Seven semi trucks together. Yeah. I got in that one engine. And three 3.7 seconds are fastest production cars in the 60. Oh, yeah. We're at 330 miles an hour. The fastest accelerating vehicles on the planet right here. Now, obviously, this car is a beautiful machine. It's are there any materials or technologies that you really see? This is something we've recently added, and it's made my life so much easier. Our main key right now that we focus on is safety. Okay. Like my cockpit before, if you see all the pads that we got in the back back there, it's very streamlined where memory foam, yeah. and it goes to a denser, 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 denser foam where it protects your head from shocks and doesn't knock you out. The carbon fiber, the titanium ink roll cage is enclosed, so flame can't come in and projectiles can't come in the cockpit and hit people. The carbon composite that's pre prayed yeah, to yeah, titanium yeah. to magnesium, potential strength aluminum alloys like 70, 75. Yeah. So our stuff has definitely gone leaps and bounds in that, in that standpoint. What about electric? I mean, that's something that someone would say you would never see electric on a drag strip. I'm an RC enthusiast, so I'll race RC vehicles. Oh, very right? cool. So, so I was always a big nitro guy. Okay. Now they got electrics in the RC car realm that's kicking the nitro's butt. Right. With that being said, electrics are not there yet in drag racing at our level. Yep. But you can never count them out. Special shout out to Schumacher Racing for giving us great access to their vehicles. Yeah, that would be the guys behind me who just took apart and put together an 8,000 horsepower engine in about 20 minutes. Now, the beginning, we were a little bit skeptical, thinking maybe these were just machines that drank gas and burned tires. But the truth is, over the past 20 years, these things have advanced a lot, technologically speaking. Who's to say in the next 20, they might not be going electric? All right, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer for TransLogic. See you next week.